Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make this super pretty ruffle flower headband and it's so simple, much more simple than it looks and with your little bow beneath it you can do whichever style you want so I've put a couple of options in the description um, for measurements wise and all this information like for your sizing and everything as well that'll all be down below in the description box just in case I say anything in the uh, in the wrong way round or anything like that because sometimes I say like four inches when I mean four centimeters and vice versa so like I said that's all in the description box for you and you want to start with a nine millimeter headband and I get mine from Libby Crafts again in the description box below for you and you want 38 centimeters of nine millimeter ribbon and then all you want to do heat sew your ends and you want to go about one centimeter up on the inside of your band lay that flat make sure there's no excess glue there we go flip that over so it's now facing you and we're just going to glue all the way along here do it slowly in bits because basically you want to get it so that your ribbon is laying really flat against headband so I do it and then rub my finger so there's no like visible lumps underneath and that will help you as well because the heat from your like hand will help you well your thumb or your finger etc will help the glue spread more evenly and like I said remove any visible marks which you haven't got to glue on your fingers and try and keep it straight to the headband as well so you just do this all the way along the band as you can see i don't put a lot of glue on it's just enough to get it to attach with like i said out over filling it because you don't want glue to be seeping out the sides it just makes it look messy and takes longer to tidy up And like I said, the more you use, the more likely you are to get bumps rather than nice and flat and smooth. Doesn't take long. If you work fast, if you do make a little glitch, like if it goes a little bit to one side, you can sort of push it in the right direction. This is why I only do a little bit at a time as well, so you don't make any... If you've got wobbles, you've only got minimal wobbles. You haven't got it across the whole headband, if that makes sense. Okay, almost done. Last little bits. And I always do it just a little bit longer just in case. Okay. I'm gonna cut a tiny bit of this off. Here, you could probably get away with 36 centimetres, but like I said, it depends on how long your headbands are. I know the length of the Love You Craft ones, so that's why I know 38 works. Fold that over the end the same. And then the other thing I do is take another tiny piece of 9mm. And we're just going to wrap round our end so we've got like a nice squared finish. So touch glue on the back again. And then we want to go over there, make sure there's no glue seeping. And then we wrap around just once completely on both ends. Heat 
seal in the blue clear part of the flame again and then touch more glue Hold that a second so it sets. Again, just square it off so it's nicely done. Heat so, and then we're going to repeat exactly the same on this side. Drop of glue. Round. I have no feeling in my fingers because you know what it's like when you craft for many years. Cut on seal. I always like to try and find like some sort of unique ribbon, like ruffle ribbon, or this one, gold edged, or polka dots, etc., to give the headband just a little bit more of an interesting finish than just plain ribbon. But you can do plain; it's entirely up to you. So there's our headband. Like I said, you can make yours a little bit neater but this is what it looks like there we go so we can put that out of the way for one second and then you want two times 65 centimeters for the main part of the ruffle and one times 25 centimeters for the center part so there's a base piece in the middle bit for this okay and then the other thing you want for your ruffle flower is two felt circles and I have done mine four centimetres and all I did with mine is I used this lid of uh, one of my sparkle sprays to help me get a nice round circle. So two pieces of felt circles for the attaching it to the headband and we're going to do the two longer pieces first and this is two times 65 and I've just heat sealed both ends together by using the clear bit of my lighter. I'm just going to like this and then pinch them together with my fingers. Okay, and then I take my needle and thread, and I always use doubled Gutmann extra strong thread. And like I said, you start at the beginning from above, and another trick I'll show you. Do it with pen. So that's about half a centimeter. You can do a centimeter, etc. And basically. If you're not one for even stitches, you can sort of use it as a guide. But basically you do this all the way along this edge for all of the 65 centimetres. It will take you a minute. I normally watch like background sitcoms, you know, like How I Met Your Mother, Friends, Big Bang Theory those kind of shows just 20 minute background not taxing your brain but just noise kind of shows what's your favorite tv show to watch when you're crafting i was going to watch loki but then i thought that might be the kind of show that i need to concentrate more on and i don't concentrate on other things when i'm crafting i like background noise but i don't like taxing background noise once you've got to the limit of your needle, you can sort of pull it along. Again, make sure your two pieces are lined up all the way. And carry on. To make sure you're getting both layers, every stitch as well. So just keep doing that. Over and over, over and over till you reach the end. Every so often, just pull it up a bit. I 
Now the reason we do two layers is to make the flower nice and full <coughs> and we've ruffled it up. You can do it with one but you don't get the same look to the flower. I tried both ways, it looks prettier this way in my opinion. But like I said you can try and play around yourself. You know me, never force you to stick to things. I like to give you the techniques and methods so you can play around yourself and make something unique to you. Try not to stop yourself. It's now the favourite thing to do. As you can see, we're almost done. last couple of stitches and I will say this if you start up always come up from beneath it's just how I like to do mine so we've done all of it now we've got this and you want to pull it all the way round until you've got a circle like this and then take your beginning we're just going to go through that piece so you've got a nice circle like that and then I'll just go back over And do a couple of stitch offs. So there's that, and then you can cut that away. And we're just going to heat seal those so they can be hidden nicely when we do our flower. So this is the base, and what I like to do is I like to take this bit and turn that over and you can sort of glue them together if you choose to okay so this is going to be our top layer and this is going to be the bottom so I always flatten it so it's all nicely evenly ruffled pretty much and then take one of your felt circles that we've created glue it all over the back, take this, lay it flat and then give it a nice little squidge like so and that's layer one. Now we shall do layer two which is the centrepiece. And this is the 25 centimeter piece you only need one layer for this one because it's going to fit in the center of here so there we go we're going to take this don't forget to heat seal at the end so in the blue cover you flame i'll do this side well remember so i'm just going to roll this over the same half centimetre that I do for my stitches and from beneath and back up over there and then just keep going exactly the same as before to begin with it's a little bit quicker because obviously it's less ribbon I've got the measurements for the 1.5 inch version as well you can use a 15 centimetre or 20 mil sorry 15 millimeter or a 20 millimeter headband instead and again you can get both of those sizes from Lovely Crafts the information's all in the description box below okay ruffle 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 and again We've started 
from above so we're going back up that way okay so then pull your thread through like so now instead of doing a circle what you want to do is bring it all forward so all your creases are creased at the top and then you bring it round so those lines join here and you can pull tight again and we want to go up back into that original side and then the other thing I do is I grab that between my fist like this so that these are all still at the base and then I just do a little gathering round the sides just to keep this nice and tight and in place last one back through the original beginning and then stitch that off cut your excess and again I'm just going to do a little plain to get that down and this is what you will be left with for your middle again I'm just going to heat seal that and if you want to you can put a tiny touch of glue on this corner there we go and glue those together and then I'll put a bit of glue in there, a little bit of glue around the edges and on the base of this. And then take it and wedge it right in the centre so that it's all standing up like this. And then give that a squish out. And then what you do with this layer take your fingers between your ruffles so this is why we did two layers like your glue string is and basically you just pull your two layers apart like so it doesn't have to be tidy either them as part as much as you can and then I give it a little squidge up like this as well and there you go you get a really nice full fluffy flower and then we're going to take our other circle this is what we do with this one fold it in half and we want to do about a centimetre apart so I do Two cuts here about a centimetre up both sides. Let's just show you. About a centimetre up. Okay, so you get these two slots. Take your headband, pop that through one side, back down the other. Work out where you want your headband, to, your flower to sit on the band by placing it and moving it and seeing where you want it to sit once you're happy with where you want it first thing i do line of glue that side same thing this side lift that up line of glue there that will hold this circle in place and keep it nice and firm and then we glue Or the back of this circle line it up with our original one that's on the back of the flower and then press them nice and firmly together give your flower another little ruffle up if you want there you go and then you can choose which bow you want to put on it so I'm going to do the layered tails down tucks for this one 
Okay, so I glue the back of this. Okay. And then put that as close to the ruffle flower as you can. So there. And then what I do to make sure that this is nice and secure onto the back of the headband so it doesn't move is I've got this piece of felt and it's eight centimeters by about three centimeters and we fold this in half and then take your scissors and you sort of just make this sort of like a butterfly shape almost Just any version of this. That you want. So you've got something that looks like this. Make sure it's smaller than your bow. So that's a bit bigger at the moment. So we're just going to make that a little bit smaller. Because we want it hidden behind it. Not visible. So you could use a bit of a smaller one. There we go. Got a little piece like this, like a little, and that will fit on the back there. And what I do to attach it is just cross it. And I always try to do the felt the same colour as the bow where I can. So I attach that to the back of the headband. And then I flip this up this side. Glue that tab. And then glue it to the back there and then flip it and do the same thing this side and then glue that to the back of that bow there and there you go you've got another really really pretty rough bow with this one i add a little bit of spark i add a little bit of sparkle i've got this it's called spray and sparkle craft spray it's like um basically it's like hairspray with like a little bit of a sparkle in it um but it looks really pretty and it also helps hold the shape of the ruffle as well so like i said all you do with that is i took some card so i didn't get it all myself and i've got my window wide open so i've got ventilation popped it on my little stand like this and you can buy this from amazon it costs about 6.99 it's like seven ninety nine, depending on when you buy it and where. So just pop that there. Make sure it's well away from you. And you need to do about about thirty centimeters away, and that's what you get. You get like a little nice glitter, like almost frosted effect to the bay. And there you go. Very very cute ruffled flower headband tutorial. Thanks for watching. Bye!